What's up, brothers? Guys, I have done it. I have quite literally used the last two remaining brain cells that I have and have concocted something so sinister, so diabolical, so terrifying that this feels like completely cheating. Yes, the title is correct. You always have cloud step and the boss cannot see or touch you. Unless they do an AoE attack, but they cannot see you. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all two methods, or I guess two variations of this method, and both are just completely busted. The first variation is going to be where you permanently have Cloud Step, and then you just go around, uncontested, charge heavy attack, bonk the boss. And the second variation is when you Cloud Step and you leave your clone there, and then the boss ignores you even when you're out of cloud step and then you're just wailing on them with light attacks. Both methods, vile and disgusting. But if y'all like today's video, smash that like button, comment down below what you think. Always subscribe if you're new. I will dance, dance, we're falling apart to that type, type shit. But anyways, <clears throat> let's get into the video. Now for the first method, this is what our drink setup is going to be. This is the perma cloud step build where you're just in cloud step charging up heavies. So you have the Luong bomb and then you have the turtle tier because this is going to give us mana back because this is a very mana heavy build. You have the breath of fire because obviously we're using cloud step and the slumbering beetle husk. This is going to reduce the cooldown of all of our spells, but it is going to make us drunk. And we also have the Bee Mountain Stone because it um, gives us a chance to not use a sip out of our gourd. Now, disclaimer, if you want to use the exact same build that I am using, you will need to go into New Game Plus and finish Chapter 4 only because of the staff that we are using. If not, just use the staff with the highest attack damage that you have and make sure the Ebon Gold Armor is upgraded to Mythic and that's all you really need. Now for our armor, we have the Golden Fangtail Crown, just because it gives us more mana. And then the chest, arm guards, and legs that we're using is the Ebon Gold Armor Set, upgraded to Mythic. You get this in like chapter, at the end of chapter one or something. Now the reason we upgraded this armor to Mythic is because the unique passive on it is completely busted. And once you use Cloud Step, you leave your clone from your original position, and it will not go away until the the boss or enemy whatever destroys it so that means the enemy will keep on attacking that clone even when you come out of cloud step and yes i will show you what i mean later but for our spirit we have the misty cloud cloudy mist spirit just because it synergizes really nice with it reduces the mana cost of cloud step which is fantastic now the vessel we're using is the fan or you can use the needle doesn't really matter now the Curios, we have the Tridacna Pendant, just to lower the cooldown of Cloud Step even more. The Auspicious Lantern, because this in Cloud Step just makes it so much stronger. And we have one Thunder Flame Seal, just to give us more mana. And then Cat Eye Beat. For the fourth Curio, you can use whatever you want, honestly. And for a Gourd, we have the Supreme Gourd, just because it gives us the maximum amount of sips that we can get. Because every time we drink, it will lower the cooldown of our spells. And there is a chance that it will not use a sip. But for the foundation page, I would recommend maxing out your attack, maxing out your mana, and maxing out your crit damage. And crit chance would be nice as well. Now with this build, I'm using the smash stance, but I've tested it. And you can honestly use any stance that you want. Just put at least 20 points into whatever stance that you want to use. We are also running Immobilize with this build. I would recommend just upgrading until you get Spirit Charge just because you get mana back once you crash the Immobilization. Now, in Cloud Step, we don't have it maxed out. We leave the last one unchecked because the boots that we are wearing give us this same effect. Now, with the boys, you can max out your monkeys, but sometimes you don't even have to use them. Now, on the transformation page, put a point in the cold edge. This is going to lower the cooldown of Cloud Step. And um, you don't really necessarily have to put points in these transformations. I've just been using, like, hybrid transformation builds now. And I like to max out Evergreen, Hidden Might, and Ferocious Form. But you don't really have to do that. For the Relics, the first one, get Eagle Eye. 
100% get Eagle Eye. This is pretty much the bread and butter of our build. And then for the third relic, I would I would suggest Lingering Aroma. Gives you more attack when you cast the spells, and we're pretty much always using a spell. But all the other all the other relics don't really matter. But if you have the sixth one unlocked, elegance and simplicity is good, or unified minds. It just depends on if you're using your clones or not. But that is the first variation setup, so let's see this in action. Contestant number one, we have Red Boy Phase One. Now here we are going with the Perma Cloud Step method. So we're going to be using Cloud Step and then taking about two sips from our gourd, waiting about six to seven seconds, and then charging heavy, going in and bonking with Unveiling Strike. And then when we do that, you'll probably have to wait like one, two seconds for Cloud Step to be back off cooldown. But with this method, you do have to be careful because with the soak that we're using, once you drink, it is going to lower the cooldown of your spells, but it is going to make you drunk. Impairing your movements, it's going to make you attack slower, it's going to make you roll slower, so you do have to be careful. But to combat this, this is why we're using the B Mountain Stone Soak, because if you do find yourself in a sticky situation, you can just drink one, you probably only have to drink one more time, and then your Cloud Step is going to be off cooldown, and then you just use Cloud Step. And while you're in Cloud Step, those effects do not matter. But, one thing to note as well, when you come out of Cloud Step, if you have not waited about 6 to 7 seconds, then you will come out of Cloud Step still with movement and parity. So, a couple things to note, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Use Cloud Step, sip your gourd like twice, Wait 6 to 7 seconds, charge heavy, unveiling strike, which is going to lower the cooldown of your cloud step, and then you just rinse repeat that. Now the reason that you want to wait about 6 to 7 seconds when you're in cloud step is just A, to give you more time for your cloud step to come off cooldown, and then B, for the effects of the soak to wear off, the movement and parity. But yeah, that is Phase 1 Red Boy. Uh, we have Phase 2 Red Boy as well. I will showcase you that. Probably won't dub over that. I'll just let it play through. But uh, after Phase Boy Red 2, I will show y'all the second strategy that we use. So yeah, just completely disgusting method here. We almost have full mana. We st haven't used Pluck of Midi. Did not use Transformation. This build is a little nasty. But anyways, let me show y'all variation number two. Some crazy technology. Now because we have the Ebon Gold Armor upgraded to Mythic Quality, this is what it does. You leave your clone, and even when you're out of Cloud Step, the enemy will ignore you until they destroy your clone. So while they are doing this, you are free to just do whatever you want. Now some of y'all may be thinking, well, um, sir, this is just a regular mob that's on the map. This doesn't work against bosses. Yes, it does, little Johnny. Yes, it does. Let me show you. Now we're going to test this on two different bosses just so y'all know it's not a fluke. 
We have the Zhao Luong of waves here. Now we leave the clone out, and look, he's not even looking at us. And we are just wailing on him. And it, like we are free to do whatever we want until the clone gets destroyed. And then by the time the clone gets destroyed, guess what? You have Cloud Step back off cooldown. So you just keep on doing it. It is disgusting. Now with this strategy, the only thing that you have to be careful of is if the boss has an AoE attack. Like, I guess this tail whip move, whatever he does right here. Or any boss that has an AoE. Most of them do, but some of them don't. But that is the only thing that you have to be careful of. But even then, you're going to get hit once. And then we're drinking when we go into Cloud Step, regardless, just to give us mana back. So having to heal is irrelevant to us. Now, what we could be doing here as well is using our spirit. And then when we come out of Cloud Step, we can use the Pluck of Mini as well. Because the clone is still going to be there. And the boss is going to ignore our clones and going to ignore the real us. But like a boss like this, it, it is just going to get destroyed with this method. And also, for the six relic, this is where simplicity comes into effect. Because you get more attack damage on your light attack combos. So, that is why you would use that. Other than unified minds, of course. And the only thing that we change up in our setup for this variation is our drink. We use the Jade Essen for the drink, and then the Turtle Tear for the soak, and then a B Mountain Stone for the soak. It's just going to give us mana on return, and then the occasional is going to ignore us drinking our gourd, which will allow more sips. But I do have another boss with this method, and I'm just going to let this play out for y'all just so y'all can see that it is not a fluke. The boss will just ignore you even when you're not in Cloud Step. As long as you have a clone out there, you are free to do whatever. But yeah, that's the build, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all be safe out there. Have some fun. Don't do anything too crazy. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.